Ladies and gentlemen, I am the Warboss Squee. Welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. We are in Cad Nua. And last episode was a bit short. But this time we are here to finish this particular area. Uh, one thing I do want to do before we get started is mention that there are a bunch of enemies in this area that are not our friends. But we should be ma we should manage it okay. I just want to hey. make sure I get that on. Because that's going to be a big deal. Yeah. Now, last episode, I did mention that I was going to have a little bit of other content coming out, specifically going out to the range. And I tried. I tried. There were so many people at the range on Sunday that once I got out there, I did have a good time, uh, you know, practicing and training. However, there was absolutely no way hell I was going to be able to make a video with all the background noise going on. So I guess I'm about to go out on a weekday or something and try it then. But it will happen. Grave yeah. yeah, one wisp, not a problem. Thankfully. Now let's see. A wisp and a couple of phantoms. That is going to be a different story. Leave our village! We've done nothing to you! Uh, villager. You can't do this! Listen. This is our village, our home! The Nine Claws have lived here almost 50 generations. We were here long before your kind brought war to our lands. You can't just burn it all! <laughs> have mercy, soldier! Our warriors have all gone! <laughs> You can't burn us all because of them! <laughs> he reaches out to you and opens his mouth to say something. All emerges as a series of violent coughs, which I just had myself. He falls to his knees, choking on the thickening smoke. Flames overtake the vision as you back away. So, a long time ago, and I'm going to paraphrase this because, one, this is the second time I've done it. Uh, the last video did not... Uh, render properly and I had to scrap it and had to reset but also there's a lot of conversation this is the site of a very very bad time where uh, some remnants of the Aldean Empire decided you know what genocide is the way we're fixing these problems okay I just saw something immune so what are we looking at here start combat Okay, so, yeah, they're immune to pierce damage. So, you're going to switch out, and you're going to get stuck in. There we go. Let's grab that, and let's put your hmm? rifle back on. Nicely, nicely taken care of. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. My, a couple of minor injuries, nothing to really worry about too much. I do want to clear this field out before we go anywhere else. Yeah. I hate will o wisps and their stupid mind confusion stuff. Okay, there should be one more group if memory serves. Over this away, and it is going to be a pain in the butt. Grave Come on, get him. Thank you. Not the group I was thinking of. Oh, a dare, you moron. Got himself all freaking skunked by that damn will o wisp. Sit down this way. Ah, there we go. Yeah, a phantom and a shadow. Actually, I think with the phantom's the bigger issue. Alright, so this is the part where things start to get a little bit more interesting. Let's 
see. Yeah, just you guys. Where's the other one? It's right there. Um. You know what we're gonna do is not do that. Come on, turn, turn it off. I love this game is sometimes the controls are a little bit much. Uh, what am I looking for? There we go. Let's do that. Let's do that again. Have you two morons that managed to kill that thing yet? You need to go into a frenzy. Fine. There we go. Much better. And then no one got horribly mutilated. But it did cost a couple spells. Worth it, though. Alright, I think that was the last right. batch of them. Then we can move into the keep prior. So, uh, this is all stuff that... Uh, we're going to find out in the course of conversation, but just to reiterate, there was a native clan of Inguithan elves here called the Nine Claws that were constantly going to war back and forth with the Adarin colonists. And to put it mildly, it kept escalating, as these things were wont to do, until it escalated into genocide. And, uh, the Master of the Keep is, well, a little choked up. You're a newcomer to the Deerwood as well. What do you make of it so far? I haven't much time to take in the sights. Fair enough, I've been here a short time myself, but the locals leave a strong impression, I find, the, uh, food, too. A rather refreshing bunch otherwise. I think I've walked away an hour or two talking to the regulars in one tavern or another, and everyone from the merchant to the servant has an opinion to share. This is very true. Pretty lively bunch, all things considered. Okay, let's see here. Let's move up a little bit. Do you think he'd be mad if we sat in his chair? Maybe he doesn't have to know. Alright, that's good. That is a very important weapon to have right now. I'll show you in a moment why. Whispers of Yenwood. It's a unique one-handed sword. It's, uh, I think it's fine enchanted. It is not, but we could do it if we had some Pilgrim's Crown. Fair enough, we can make it even better. But 20% uh, of grace is converted to hits, 5% accuracy against spirits, plus 25 damage against spirits, plus the constitution, but it comes with minus 3 will. Now, this is a big deal. Uh, the minus will part is kind of annoying, but it's much better than the sword. Yeah, so the damage is a little lower because it's not fine, obviously, but it gives you a bunch of other bonuses, and right now we are fighting a lot of spirits. So we're going to switch to two weapons. It gives us slash and pierce and crush and pierce, so again we cover all our bases. Well, the other thing to keep in mind is one, our will is well, pretty good, all things considered. Where is it? Frenzy. Yeah. We're not going to be as worried about uh, will once that kicks off, so I think we should be alright. have to be careful because there are some monsters. Ah, there they are. Hmm. What's your range on that thing? Ah, uh, not close enough, I'm afraid. Yes? I think you can maybe... No, just out of range as well. Yes. Right. Okay, Phantom first. <laughs> okay, you need to get over here. Oh, yeah, you can do this. Pretty sure you can handle this, pal. Okay, let's see here. I actually have you get a little bit closer. 
and start dropping slams down. Oh, no. Him, otherwise he's gonna get pulverized. What? Get in there like a good lad. Now we have some abilities to throw off here. Reduce damage reduction for enemies in the area of effect. You can summon a skele three skeletons to fight for the party, which is what we're going to do right here. You're fine. Wow, I actually didn't think he was going to drop from that. Let's go for that. He's hey. back up. Great. Come on. Take your second wind. Thank you, Jesus. Alright, let's see. There is he. Get him. Everybody get that stupid thing. There we go. See, he's got a crit on him, which is Frostbite. Not super uh, worried about that. Unless he dies. That would be kind of bad. What? See, does anybody have any way to fix that? Hey. See. Yeah, see, he's got health damage. I don't think I have any items that help with health damage. Health damage in itself is kind of a pain in the ass. Let's see. No. 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 Let's see. This, it all gives back endurance, not health, which is super annoying. Yeah. So, any... Any potions that might help? Nature's Mark. I don't know what that does. No, it's not a big deal. Okay. Oh, but we are going to give you these potions because you're probably going to get knocked out again. And he might actually die if that happens. Smart money would be to go and heal, but where would be the fun in that? All right, then. So we can't actually go anywhere in here. This place is a complete ruin. But that's okay. We're about to find out new things. As you come to the end of the Great Hall, you perceive an inviting warmth radiating from a grand throne wrought out of marble. It's mastery, masterful artistry out of place amidst the castle's more practical stonework. The veiled face of a woman is carved by the throne's backing, watching over the room with hunger eyes. At your approach, you feel the warmth fluctuate, as though stirring. A voice rings out of the carving, permeating the fortress through stone and air. Another watcher in Cadnua, glowing very brightly indeed to these eyes. What strange happenstance. Looking for Merewald. As am I. If you should happen to find him, I would be glad to know of it. Each day his absence brings new dust to my halls, new cracks to my stones. It's... it's shameful is what it is. The Earl would never have let it come to this. You are free to search for him here. I will unbar the way. Very well. Take care in your search. Many dangers lie in wait here. And she's not kidding. Um, kind of bypass that entire conversation phrase only because she was an artisan who actually, an architect, architect who actually designed this area. Been out playing soldier again, have we? Go wash up and come help me shuck these peas. She turns from me long enough to produce a basket like that, like her, shimmering and semi-transparent. And no complaints. You gotta eat your vegetables if you want to be, grow up strong and be a real soldier one day. Just like we agreed, right? Say nothing. Soldiers are important people. They defend the weak and punish the wicked. You're too young to understand now, but there are lots of wicked people. People like the man who murdered your father. Remind me what happened to uh, my father? Before you were born, the Glanfathans attacked settlers like us. They said we'd knocked over some of their special Adra rocks. That's why they call it the Broken Stone War. They got very angry, and so they came into our villages and killed many people. Your father was one of them. I see. That's why you'll be a soldier one day. 
to protect and to avenge. Why don't you go back out and play? I'll finish up here. Yeah, that's going to become relevant in a moment. But let's just say that uh, little sor soldier boy uh, didn't turn out well. All right, so this is technically the first floor of the Endless Dungeon. What the hell it's called? Um, the Endless Levels of Cadnoa. And this is not a friendly place. Let's go. Not a friendly place at all. This is going to take some doing. Okay, he's only got one chant up. As many of these spiders as I can. Okay, he's alright. Let's see. Well, that needs to stop right now. Let's go. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Hey, spider baby. Bastard. Okay. You and you go after that. Two handle this guy. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. I have a friend of mine that hates spiders. He'd Let's be go. freaking out about this stuff. Come on. Hit the spiders. Let's go. Kill all the things. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Right. I think that's all the spiders. I have a buddy of mine that's horribly arachnophobic. I don't think I'll be recommending this episode to him. Uh, I don't think it would end well. Alright, so there is literally nothing in here. To be fair. Okay, so no, this isn't the first floor. There we go. New orders, Lieutenant. Ready your squad. A spectral man arrayed in armor and an officer's cloak studies a single sheet of paper. You can see straight through it to the ducal and Adair and insignia is on his breastplate. He seems to read over the page several times before looking up at you. When he does, his expression is unreadable. There's been a change of plans. Take your squad and march south all the way to the bow in the river. Bring a wagon team and a dozen barrels of pitch. The instructions come from Admet Hadred himself, which means they might as well have come from the Duke. We're to burn those hut dwellers out. Set fire to the Deerwood so they've nowhere to retreat. Cut them down when they come out. Or let them blaze if they won't. It'll make this even shorter than the Broken Stone War, all right. And we can only hope it'll discourage future conflicts. I know this is personal for you. It is for many of us. But understand, we're doing this to end this war, not to continue the last one. Remember that we're flushing out the enemy, not burning villages for sport. Bareth will have his work cut out for him tonight. Well, the orders may be to uh, not do this for sport, but the guy you put in charge, she'll find out. Definitely not. Now, this officially is the Endless Paths of Odnoa. And not an area that we want to be playing in right now. I don't think we're ready. We'll take those farmers by surprise. Almost time. Di and Heather scouted the village last night. They're rounding up the rest of the party now. 
Don't worry. Everyone remembers the rave as your idea. The Rio had to go along with it after you got the rest of the clan riled up. No one wants it said that the Nine Claws were too cowardly to stand with the rest of the tribe when the foreigners desecrated our ruins. Yep. The tribes need more leaders like you. Women who value deeds over words. <laughs> you were right. They were too soft when the foreigners first came, and now they humiliate us. We'll be soft no more, and the invaders will learn to leave us alone once and for all. One thing that I am curious about to get, uh, Glenn Fawthens, all do appear to be elves, but as far back as the timeline for this game goes, I don't know of where the different races originated from. So I couldn't say for certain. All done. Or anything goes. No. Keep away from us. Leave us. A large liver spotted man, barrel chested and paunchy, cowers in the far corner of the room. His white hair a tangled, stringy mess. He covers his face and chest with trembling hands, unable to look in your direction. Maybe we should come back later. Are you Marywald? He looks up over his hand, the muscles around his eyes twitching. He begins whispering to himself in sharp hisses, as though having an argument. All at once he stops shaking, a sudden calmness falling over him. His head tilts forward slightly, and he looks you dead in the eye, like a cornered animal about to pounce. His voice turns suddenly raspy. Mayor Wald isn't here, and he isn't fooled. He has sent for no callers. Be gone, deceiving spirit! I'm a watcher. I met a woman in Gilded Vale who thought you might help me. Mayor Wald will speak with you, but you will maintain your distance, or you'll have me to answer to. Yes. The old man turns away and has another muttered, sputtering argument facing the wall. When he turns back to you, he is taking a confident stance, his chest is puffed out like a soldier's. A new strength enters his voice. Come um, to speak to Mayor Wald? Mayor Wald, whose touch is poison? Mayor Wald. Who knows not his effect? I was told I'm a watcher and that you can tell me more about it. And about a uh, tablet of some worth after that, once you two are finished, of course. A window. Window to the ether where spirits dwell. Hear and reach into it. Speak and listen through it. A watcher sees souls, reads them. Knows their pasts, souls of the living, souls of the dead, an empath, and the souls see them back. Used it to help beings in both realms, did I. What the gods wanted of me, thought I. The gods put me in the world for vengeance, and I obliged. That was a soldier. It was the gods' wishes that we protect those lands. My way was the only way to remove the foreigners. Little yeah. I knew. You seem to have lost your mind. Lost? No. Found more of it. Too much. Too much to bear. An awakening. How could a simple awakening have driven you to this? You remember... You mean you remember your past lives. Something reminds. Memories stirred. Memories before birth. Other bodies. Other times. And if those memories come into conflict, you could be having a bad day, like Merrywald. Memory, personality, identity, any might resurface. Or all. And I seem to be having a conversation with several of them right now. Ghosts of the mind. Mayerwald has lost control. Mayerwald's body no more. The spirits I passed, what are they? Spirits and not spirits. Always whispering to Mayerwald, reminding him of his mistakes. No sleep. Watchers see memories before them, form them from the essence of their own souls. Once Mayerwald awakened, he could not make them leave. Gave them more form, not less. Spirits and memories from previous lives? 
troubled memories, angry memories, pulling Meowald back, reminding him his mistakes. Marauder and soldier, soldier and marauder, how could they know? <laughs> Seen apparitions like those elsewhere since I've become a watcher. Oh no, no, no. You too. You too. Poor man, poor man. They will take you too. Told you a watcher is not to be trusted. What's to be expected when one makes a habit of seeing what's not meant for mortal eyes, if not madness? Looks like our journey together may be a short one. They're saying I'll end up like you. So fragile the watcher's mind. So real his memories. Once awakened, how can he sleep? I'm awakened to a past life. How will that have happened? You were reminded of it. Strong memories. Lingering lives. They dwell near the surface. Waiting to be remembered. Waiting to take your mind for their own. Well, the thing was is that I wasn't a watcher until the Bay of Wack and that weird-ass um, Audra machine. So, he became a watcher and then awakened pretty much at the same time. But, from what I understand, you can become a watcher when your soul basically gets disturbed. And then you can see other spirits. Now, if being awakened, you don't have to be a watcher for it. It just has to be something that triggers a memory of a past life to such a degree that it awakens that past life. In Merrill's case, since he was both, he's in a lot more trouble than most. Meowald sat at his hearth and watched his fire, watched the wood burn. Then came the memory of another fire and burning wood and screams. But you tell a spirit from a memory. Fragmented are memories, stuck in time, mindless, cruel, never far. Why do these past lives still trouble you? My fault. All my fault. Fault. Soldier and marauder. Soldier and marauder and Meowald. No forgiveness for what's past. No undoing what's done. No sleep. No sleep for the Watcher. War there was all around. War of stone. War of tree. Let's talk about two different wars fought back to back a long time ago. The Broken Stone War and the War of Black Trees. The usual conflict between the locals and settlers getting out of hand, both of them. Some folks are still mad about one, what one side did to the other. Death we brought to the settler men. We the Nine Claws. Claws of Nine. Worse what we did to the women. For love of the gods. The gods love. For their love. You met one of your memory spirits. There was talk of raiding a village. Marywald's voice becomes raspy and somewhere else in place and time, speaking to someone unseen. Hold her down. Head her. Give this head your bitch an air that belongs an air clock father. <laughs> Marywald cringes himself again, watching something he cannot bear to see, shaking his head over and over. He wails. His soul is marked by flame. Those marks will never heal. His trial has broken him, but better that than to live in weakness. Uh, take your time. It's over now. It was long ago. Continue when you're ready. The boy. The boy. The baby boy. The boy. Conceived in the raid. Conceived by force. Vessel for Marauder. Slain in the raid. Marauder and the boy. Marauder and soldier. A baby conceived by the raider? I mean, it was a vessel for him. For the soul. A marauder's soul. Same soul. One soul. Boy's soul. Marauder's soul. Raised in lies and vengeance. Raised to soldier. Raised for the fire. Born for the fire. And that was his mother I met in the keep. She told him his father was killed by the raiders. You'll get no pity from me. The crimes of the Nine Claws clan in the last war are still unavenged. But the gods are just. They have led me here. 
In my father's name, every one of you will burn. Light it. Burning his own. Why not if they've been wicked and earned their punishment? He is weak of mind and soul. To see him cower before the flame, that should give you the measure of him. Marywald's shoulders slump. He rocks back and forth, agitated. He measures himself oblivious to your presence. Soldier and marauder, lies and vengeance, and dead villages. All dead. All dead. What for? What for? I don't know. How little we know. There must be some way to make these memories go away. No. Always there. Always remembered. Can't forget. Can't unsee. I didn't just remember. Someone caused this. There were masks and spoke of books and keys and a queen. There was a man there. He seemed familiar to me. Keys of lead. Books of burden. Queens that were. Known to me are they. The leaden key. The leaden key? Seems we share an enemy, Squee. Assassins and watcher wakers, both. They certainly keep busy. Who's this queen that they pray to? Woodica, goddess, crown shattered and body burned. Binder of oaths and grudge holder, bearer of justice. But whose? The sudden key caused my awakening. Can they undo it? Many secrets do they keep. Unawakened? Mayhap. Who else if not they? What can you tell me about this leaden key? Secrets. Secrets and deceptions and schemes. Who knows their answers? Not they. Not they. Crossed them before. Hatred of watchers. Hatred and fear. Much we see. Threat to secrets. Do you know where I might find the leaden key? City of Defiance. Never far from the Queen. I need to go so I can search for this man from the leaden key. Sleep well. Sleep well. Hold. I knew your will die. Your actions were seen. You would sooner betray us to the Adia land thieves than take orders from me. You're confusing me with someone from a past life. Your betrayal is for nothing. Your warnings are lost on these foreigners, and their blood will be Galloway's tribute this night. I have asked the elders for the honor of claiming your head as my first trophy, and they have granted it. Beg for the Seeker God to grant you a quick death. And we were all going to be friends up until this point. Now, here is the problem we have. Merwald is a very, very dangerous bastard. So, we immediately need to knock him down before he starts casting spells. Uh, these things are also very dangerous. Okay, I need you to have your musket ready. Shoot that. We need to get over there as fast as you can. Uh, I think that's about all we can do at the moment. Come on, knock him down before he kills us, please. Alright, let's see that's down. I need that thing dead right now. And you are going to... Where's Marywald and all this mess? Siphon that. You're gonna go berserk. Okay, did you get your spell off? Yeah, you did. Okay, you need to get closer and get some healing going. There we go. Okay, so, out of the good spells, let's start launching the little stuff. By the way, knock him down again. I don't want him casting any more spells on me. You just keep hitting him. How may I have There we go. Good God, first time I ever fought him, he wiped half my team. There's a change in the air of the keep. What was what's thick and, thick and suffocating feels to you somehow more breathable, as though yielding to a conquering invader. Mayorwald's body lies inert. You can feel his soul leaning in there. 
lingering there, I'm certain. There's something unique about this soul in this place. A bond formed in decades of inhabitants and lordship that feels somehow powerful to you. As though even in death, the keep knows its former master. The former master remembers his keep. Ah, speaker to the restless. Don't know what that does. In your mind's eye, the bond seems you a frayed rope, ghostly and alive. Its frayed ends writhing like tide pool of Mimas, and you find that if you concentrate on it, you have the ability to manipulate its strands. Now, I actually kind of cheated on this. I actually know what these different options do. Repair the rope, bind Marywell's soul here as an internal warden, gives us a bonus of security for our keep. Sever the rope, allow Marywell to pass from the world, gives us prestige. However, draw upon the energy of the rope itself, siphoning knowledge from the connection gives us access to a very special weapon in the endless mines, or the endless maze, which we're going to need. You turn both ends of the rope towards you, bring them to contact with your essence, and as you do, the fibers turn to copper through them, and the energy is conducted into your being. You're traveling downward now, beneath the place you stand, seeing places dank and cobwebbed and malignant, like some un untended garden overgrown with flora and overrun with vermin. Below everything at the very bottom, you glimpse for an instant some, some being you can't quite make out, presiding over it all with brilliant and terrifying power. One image remains in your perception, a circular room with a stone table that resembles the sun, in an area guarded by suits of armor that move of their own volition. It is deep, not far from the very bottom. There is a door in that room, invisible to all but the most fastidious of eyes. Beyond that, something shimmering, something powerful. The image fades, you find yourself in Cadnua once more. Marewald's soul is nowhere to be seen. Alright. God, that yes. fight sucks. So we get uh, Marewald's Grim Grimoire, which goes there. The Primal Flame and some gold, which is not a big deal. Man, there's all kinds of goodies around here. Uh. We have a Primal Wind, which is another useful thing. That's not nice. All done. Got some more gold. That's not nice. All done. Let's see a moonstone and some more money. So yeah, we don't really sure. get a lot for ice and the poor yeah. bastard. But uh, speaker of the restless combat only. This watcher speaks directly to the soul of his or her enemies, filling them with dread of what awaits them in the wheel. Twice per rest. It's about halfway accurate and frightens them for 10 seconds which it's not too bad sure you cannot wait that older set you don't want to discuss it yeah <laughs> so I, think I... I can actually talk to him your service uh, okay it's not gonna tell me anything yeah we have reason to talk to him later about all this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't been hitting the uh, pause on the transition screens only because I can't remember. Oh, you're right. No sense listening to that old bam part. Damned Virago, not now. Okay, are we gonna talk Hi. to you? Any thoughts on what you do next? And we'll urge you to seek out 11 key agents at Defiance Bay. Yes, if his condition was any warning, we should find this all haste. All right. Any re only reason I'm not uh, knocking out the transitional screens is because I can't remember when things are going to get triggered. Okay. Although I suppose in this case I sure. can't with that too much issue. I felt Mayor Ward's passing. You slew him. He gave me no choice. It saddens me to hear it. But part of me is grateful to no longer have to wait and worry in darkness. This place has always known its master, long as it's had one. It has a will all its own, which has little to do with the castle and much to do with the land it's built on. It looks to you as Mayor Ward's successor now whether you care for it or not. A dubious honor, inheriting a fortress both broken and cursed. But in the right hands, it could be so much more. If you had only seen it in its day, will you... will you stay? 
Alright, well, let's let's go to the City of Defiance in search of the Queen. If it's Defiance Bay you seek, I'm sorry to tell you that you've come a long way from nothing. The Eastern Barbipica collapsed decades ago, and Meryl and I got, never got around to rebuilding it. The road here is a dead end. As far as gathering materials before his mind became preoccupied. I could make arrangements to have it repaired, if that is your will. When it ceased to be the previous master's will, I became powerless to do anything about it. But what am I but the master's instrument? It would take time, but far less than finding another route to the finest bay. I will repair the bar barbica. Barbican? I'm not sure how to pronounce that properly. So, Maribel set aside materials for the Barbican and they still available to you. In the future, if you wish to make sure the repairs are keep, we will be calling for supplies and labor. What does being the master of Cade Nolan entail? There are many responsibilities involving maintaining the keep. The extent to which you wish to get involved is entirely up to you, of course. Part of the reason I am here is to, instruct, to ensure that things run smoothly in your absence, provided we have been given instruction. If you instruct me on which repairs you wish to conduct next, I will provide the necessary arrangements. These may take some time to finish, but each will provide you with an additional resource once they are complete. Given somewhere to place them, we can hire tradesmen to provide you with supplies or ingredients. Repairing the keep will raise your prestige, and draw both helpful individuals and unwelcome attention from bandits and opportunists. If we can raise the keep security in turn, they will become less of a concern. You should know, however, that the position does come with some risk. Your name will grow in fame, and you must contend with thirds of the keep, and then there are other things. What do you mean by risks? Merrill's curse was known a watcher's curse, but his predecessors have not fared better. There is a presence within the keep, or rather far beneath it. At least such has been the conclusion draw, drawn by all who have come to this place, for what spirits still linger in the endless past often speak of a master below. Every effort to settle here has failed, from the time of our Adrian colonists onward. Beasts rise from the endless paths until the new lord and ladies no more. The one who dwells below this master does not tolerate rivals, it seems. I have seen, from time to time, intrepid explorers descend to lay claim to our answers they can, but not return. This is the force that which kept Cadnoa barren ruin and robbed me of my hopes. The Endless Pass. That, my friend, is where I must go. Where we must go, if you will go with me. What devils lie beneath, think to what knowledge we will find. Perhaps this master speaks to Darren. But am I not the master of Cadnoa? Of course you are. Keep it in no other, but the endless paths are a different thing entirely. It's unfortunate, really, that they're so closely intertwined. If the master below is not dealt with, there will always be a threat to the keep from within. I I know as much to take in, but if you would remain, if you would be lord of this place, then I can only advise you to seek out this foe before it destroys you. Alright, fair enough. Alright, so. You must know this queen you're looking for, for Defiance, Defiance Bay has no queen. Ah... Uh, the Mechwins, I'm not sure I pronounced that properly because it's Welsh, of a deer haven't reigned there since the war. The only queen with any power there is Wodica. I'm told they erected an exquisite, exquisite temple of her honor there, but I was never able to see it. If we need to go there, we get started right, right away on repairing the bar, Barbican. You only tell me what you wish to do, and I'll make the necessary arrangements. I mean, well, we've kept a ledger as it happens, and I've taken the liberty of updating it. You can take a look at it if you like. Let's take a look here. Then we'll get underway at once. Know, my lord, that this is but the first and least of a great many undertakings. The keep supported many buildings and servants for many years. If you should wish it, we can prepare, repair some of the outlying structures. These will bring you wealth and recognition, drawing people to your service. Rebuilding the fences will keep your grounds from becoming overrun, as they did under Mary Walt's keeping. You should not choose all at once. I am pledged to your aid, and so long as you are your master here, we will always be linked. You need to step upon these grounds to speak with me. Wherever your travels may take you, you may make your will known to me, if you but reach out. Oh, but of course. But first, of course, the Barbican. Alright. So, these are all the upgrades that we can make. It does take money, but we will also make money from taxes. Some of this stuff is expensive, like 2,500 copper, uh, 1,600, 1,800, 16,200 for a chapel. Yeah. Purchase scrolls from a priest, bonus resolve upon resting. Uh, mechanics bonus. Just, there is an absolute ton of stuff that you can do here. To the point where I've never actually done it all. But, this is also the reason why money doesn't matter. Because you will start getting money 
and it will just never stop. Uh, bright Hollow Restoration, Restoring Bright Hollow while you rest there, other upgrades and unlock resting bonuses. Now these all take a certain couple of days to do. I think the longest one is like six days or something. The Warden's Lodge. Okay, this one's actually kind of cool. So, the Warden's Lodge watches the wilds of the stronghold. Upgrading the lodge will grant a bonus to survival skill upon resting in Bright Hollow, as well as provide access to the Warden who offers high-level bounties. And this is a good way for you to do a little bit of experience grinding. So, but most things require the Bailey and uh, the Bright Hollow, so let's get that. And that's done. There we go. Nobody's leveled up, though. And we can talk Poor to Meowald. He couldn't contend with all that he knew of himself. A cruel fate. I don't think knowledge was the problem. He said if I can find out what causes it might help me. That is true. And there is no, su and there is no such thing in my experience as too much knowledge. Come, we'll find your answers, and mine, I hope. So what we need to do is get out of here so we can go rest. Well, surprisingly enough, I expect... Oh, I was expecting a conversation, to be honest. Alright, let's burn our last camp, camp gear. Alright, everybody's back to full health. Oh, yes. Marewald's uh, Grimoire. Let's see what he's got in here. Quite a few things, actually. Uh, Thrust of Tattered Tears is a good little spell. Spirit Shield. Work against the Elements. Corrosive Siphon is very nice. And, of course, Fireball, which is what he tried to hit me with. The bastard. Yeah, we're going to grab that. Can't use it yet, but we're going to have it when we need it. And let it not be said that uh, the first time I fought Marewald, I didn't know exactly what was going to go on. And so when he fireballed my ass, it dropped Aloth, it dropped uh, uh, Kana. Durance was okay because his robes protect him from fire damage. But I already had two of my people down, and it just went from there. It was horrible. But this time, it actually went rather well. Let's see. Uh, we're about 800 off from, from leveling up. About a thousand ish, eight hundred ish, eight hundred, thousand ish. Okay, that's not too bad. Then now we have the full look of the uh, map here. We have Bright Hollow here. We have the Eastern Barbican, which I know, I know, I'm not pronouncing properly, but you know, bear with me. But all these other buildings here, the maze, uh, the fountain, uh, the flowers. The, this can all be restored. There will be people living here, and that is pretty impressive. I like games like this. They're like, hey, look, um, castle. Here's a castle that is now yours that you can maintain. You can get taxes from. You can get people to settle there. You can get stuff. Bit just like your breeches, scholar lot. Uh, I beg your pardon? Nothing. I said nothing. Hey. Yeah. That old watcher. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it sure wasn't that. You said you had some things you wanted to ask him. Nah, it's... Well, it's kind of embarrassing now. I just got a dumb idea in my head is all. Don't know why I thought it worked. That's funny. That's probably the first thing I got my hopes up for in... I don't know... Years. At least I got that out of it. You're gonna ask in front of me anyway. You might as well tell me now. All right. Yes, fair is fair, and... You did bring me to see him. Those rumors back in Gilded Vale about my brother, Woden. About how he'd turned against us and fought for Widewin. It's been on my mind for some time now. The thing about Woden was, he always knew what was right, and that's what he'd do. One day he set out to fight for Deerwood against a man claiming to be our god. So I knew that's what I had to do, too. He was right. Hearing claims that he died fighting for Ray at Saris, I got me worried. Not that he'd chosen the wrong side, but that I had. Didn't seem right what Widewind had in store, but 
he really was Aethys. I thought, maybe this whole Watcher would know how my brother died. So I could see if it was true. Like he could, I don't know, read it in my soul or something. Use our connection. Told you it was dumb. Why did you ask, ask me for help? Because, guess I didn't know you. It's hard to trust a stranger that says he's a Watcher. Of course, I knew the truth deep down. The Watcher's not psychic. I think I just had this idea, and the idea made me feel a certain way, and I didn't want to lose that. Really, if I wanted to find out about my brother, I shouldn't be starting with watchers. I should be starting with records. So why don't you do? So why don't you? If there's anything written down about it, it'd have been in Defiance Bay. They got an archive at the palace. You've done a lot for me already, but if you could see fit to pay that archive a visit with me, well, you know. Knowing my luck, the records clerk will go crazy and try to kill me. I'd feel better with you in there with me. There we go. And let's talk to Aloth. She's decided to start being schizophrenic on us. Aloth seems lost in thought. He flinches when you draw near, sucking a sharp breath through his teeth. What can I do for you? You've been acting strange, Aloth. A crumbling castle, abandoned to memories, and an old man who can no longer tell them from reality. I'd say we've seen some rather strange things. And if Meowald is to be believed, it would seem you have an uncertain future ahead. I was, my situation is more dire than I realized. We've got to find this leaden key and fast. That does seem like the logical course of action. I shall follow your lead. Well, let's go something else. Okay, he's not going to spill the beans. Sure. Let's just say that uh, Alos has problems. One of the reasons he came out this way. And one of the reasons he travels with us now. So now we have access to the bridge, which. Well, this is an interesting question. I don't think I've ever gone through uh, Madner Bridge. So. We got Deerford Village down there, Twin Elms. It's not a big map, but it's decently sized. Wooden plane, wood and Plains. Hmm. I don't know. Actually, I'm going to have to think about it. I do actually have to call this apart. The family's coming home soon. I do hope that you enjoyed it. And I'm going to try to fix the music balance because that seems way too loud to my ear. Uh, if anybody who has made it to this far, first of all, thank you for watching. And second of all, if you have any uh, critiques on the sound, please let me know. Until then, I've been the Warboss Squee, and thank you for watching. Have a good day.